Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you today. We are going to deal with a financial mathematics question and with that in mind, let's see how we can do it. So they've said to us, the savings account was opened with an initial deposit of 24,000. So I'm gonna write a little a timeline here. So at T0, we deposited 24,000 Rand, okay? And 18 months later, so at T18, we took out 7,000 Rand. So we removed 7,000 Rand and four years if the interest rate. So then they've said to us, calculate how much money will be in the savings account at the end of four years. So if we're looking at monthly, how many months are there in four years? Well, it's 48 months, okay? So T48, we wanna figure out how much money we will have left at the end of those four years. Let's look at our interest rates. Our interest rate, the entire period is 10.5%. So we're going to plug that in there. So that's going to be 10.5%. And that is compounded monthly, which is also really important. Now let's build an equation for this. We want to figure out what the A value is at the end of this period. So the first thing we can consider is we've put 24,000 Rand into this account and it's going to grow at 10.5% compounded monthly for the full 48 months. So let's go on that assumption. So we're going to say the amount we put in was 24,000 and we need to grow that by 10.5% compounded monthly, which is going to be 0, 0,105 over 12. Okay. And that's going to be for the full 48 months. So the full four years. But we know at 18 months, we pull out 7,000 Rand. So we need to pull out not only the 7,000 Rand, but we also need to pull out the 7,000 Rand plus any interest that would have been accumulated if we had left it in the account. So we're going to say minus 7,000 Rand, okay, multiplied by the interest that we have also lost. Okay, so that should be 105 over 12 and we know how many months is that going to be it's it's 48 minus 18 months so it would have been in there for 30 months and that's the amount of interest we would have lost if we had pulled that 7000 rand out we're going to plug all of that into our calculator very very carefully and we're going to be left with a final answer of 27000 rand 369 comma 56 okay so what's very important here is building this timeline so that everything is out in front of you, nice and easy to work with, and then thinking through how this 24,000, if it had stayed in until there, what amount of interest would you have earned in, uh, on top of that 24,000 Rand? But then considering that we haven't only just pulled out 7,000 Rand, we've also pulled out any of the interest that 7,000 Rand would have earned if it had been left in until the 48th month. And that gives you the full answer to this question and some really well-earned five marks. Thank you so much to our sponsors for making this video possible. Remember to check out our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, remember you can send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.